St. Lucians in the diaspora are relentless in their charitable efforts for the homeland. Just recently, shipments arrived from the United Kingdom and St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands. Free barrels of children's clothing and toys were donated by the Grosley Community Association in the UK to go towards children's at the Achievers Early Childhood Centre in Grand Riviere. Four barrels of clothing and household supplies were donated to the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, SSDF, by Veronique Fede of the St. Lucia Action Circle in St. Croix for distribution to the less fortunate in various communities. Resource Mobilization Officer at the SSDF Annual Edwin accepted the barrels on behalf of the organization. SSDF receives scores of persons on a daily basis and scores of calls, requests for assistance from the underprivileged in St. Lucia. And it is no secret that um, the pandemic is upon us and the situation has exacerbated in terms of the demand for assistance among and the lesser privileged in St. Lucia. And persons right now who have lost their job or who have already been poverty, experiencing poverty if they do have a dollar, it will not be to purchase an extra plate to put in the house or clothing to put on their back. So this donation from the St. Lucia Association, Action Association of St. Croix and Ms. Veronica Fede and her team comes at a very timely, op opportune time so that we could hand these donations, these clothing items, to our lesser privileged persons that are not able to afford. Accepting the free barrels of children's clothing and toys on behalf of the Achievers Early Childhood Center is Representative Patricia Altino Rosalie. Okay, on behalf of the underprivileged and also the children at Achievers Early Childhood Development Center, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to the Rosalie St. Lucia Community Association in the UK for your generosity over, after over 45 years and counting. They continue to champion the cause. They continue to champion the cause. I wish to say thanks for this kind gesture. It is most welcome at this time, especially as we are going through a pandemic. I strongly believe that the contents of these barriers will go a long way in assisting not just the children, but their parents as well. Ambassador for Diaspora Affairs expressed thanks to the St. Lucians abroad who continue their humanitarian efforts for St. Lucia during the pandemic. I want to say to the Grosley Association in the UK, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is not the first time you have and I know you'll continue doing. So we just want to say thank you for your continued support, your loyalty and your patriotism to your country. The St. Lucia Action Circle of St. Croix, and the president being Mrs. Veronica Fede, have decided that she will, sub, she will um, donate those four barrels, four barrels to the SSDF so that they can distribute to the needy. Although they're experiencing the challenges of the pandemic themselves, many have lost their jobs, yet they have not stopped. In fact, their contributions to St. Lucia has increased. As you have noticed, the traffic in your office and my office, it is relentless. They have not stopped donating, donating, donating. Ambassador for Diaspora Affairs, Her Excellency Dr. Joycelyn Fletcher.